Joining us right now, ISRO Chairman Dr. S. Somnath. Sir, a major decision by the union government clearing multiple projects. Uh, all the focus is on all the four different projects. Uh, a lot of interest towards uh, uh, the mission of Gaganya. Where does it stand now, sir? And has anything changed after the Boeing incident? No, nothing has changed after the Boeing incident. Hmm. So Gaganyan is going as, as planned, but of course there are delays in the Gaganyan program, primarily because of the technology complexity. And we were expecting certain procurement from outside, which did not happen. Certain manufacturing to happen outside could not happen. So everything we have to do it in India now. Uh, HAL is a partner now building the crew module, which we thought that we can get it from Europe, which didn't happen. Similarly, the environmental control and life support system, we were planning to get it from some other country, which also didn't happen. So we have to do it in India now. We are reached a level of maturity now. So all of this development took a little more time than expected, which is natural. So we are looking at how to launch an unmanned mission uh, early this, no, late this year. And uh, after that, based on the result, we will go subsequent missions of two missions, 2025. A lot of interest towards the Indian Space Station also, the model that's out there yeah, yeah. here. Uh, what are you looking at, sir? Uh, multiple launches that will ensure it's assembled. How does it work? Yeah, you know? we'll have to have multiple launches uh, to build it first using the available launch capability and sizes. Mm -hmm. So that is again a limitation. So after that, we will be having uh, regular missions up there with astronauts. So we are first planning that it will be more of robotic nature, not really with human beings. Mm -hmm. Because we can do most of the work now with robots, hmm. but then to get an environment of microgravity is very unique. So we can send experiments up there, bring it back also. Hmm. So we are first we are designing it in such a manner that it will be fully robotic. At the same time, uh, Venus uh, orbiter mission also cleared. Uh, what is the plan there? So you've already done a Mars orbiter mission. Similar planets or similar environment? Yeah, it is more. It is similar, but then uh, it is entirely different. One is Venus is. Uh, has a different atmosphere, it has a more uh, different scientific goals than Mars. Mm. So it's a rarefied atmosphere in Mars, whereas it's a thick atmosphere in Venus. Mm. So probing the atmosphere is not easy. No one, no one till now has seen the surface of Venus yet, mm. because it has such a thick uh, cloud around mm. it, 100 bar pressure. So our goal is to put a satellite around the orbit and also send a probe into the atmosphere and do measurement. This would also be at the same time when other agencies are other planning? Agencies, similar time, because uh, there is only one slot. We, we will have to have Earth and Venus coming closer. Hmm. Otherwise, it goes to the other side of the sun. Hmm. So hmm. we cannot reach it. Okay. So when the Venus comes near to the Earth only, we can launch. Okay. So that is the so the opportunity doesn't come every 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 time it is not there. Hmm. Also, the ultimate goal is putting uh, Indian on, this, uh, on the surface of Moon by 2040. Yes, of course, uh, we want to have that mission accomplished in 2040. So, but to do that, we need to prepare. And many capabilities have to be developed. So, the current work is uh, the approvals are only for developing that capability, not really for that mission. Hmm. That mission will come as an approval much later. Okay. And final question, sir. Uh, uh, Captain Shukla already part of the Axiom 4 mission. A lot of learning from there. Would that help ISRO's Gaganyan mission? No, that's why he has been sent there. Hmm. So, we are hoping that he will come back with a lot of knowledge.